In this video, we've already found a few fossils, but there's some others scattered amongst the shingle that we're going to be having a look for together. At the end of the video, we've got an incredible Jurassic crocodile skull to show you. It's one of the best that we have ever seen. There's loads to look forward to, so let's get started. Within some of the shingle that I'm about to show you, I've spotted four potential ammonite fossils. Let's have a look across and see if you can spot them as well. I've already spotted this fossil here. That's what alerted me that there's potentially some more fossils laying around, just waiting to be found. This one doesn't look like it'll open very easily, so we'll prepare this with the finer tools when we get home. Probably prepare it at a later date because we've got lots of other fossils that we're preparing at the moment. I also spotted this cool fragma cone fossil. Really nice and calcified. Part of a belemnite, one of the squid-like creatures. It's got a little compressed ammonite preserve next to it as well. Pretty nice piece. I'll leave this here for someone else to find. Let's have a look for some more fossils now. There's at least two fossils in this shot here. You can see one of them is right there and there's a partial ammonite further back. Oh, great. Looks like a complete ammonite fossil. I wonder if there's anything inside this. Potentially, although nothing obvious. It's also this partial ammonite that we spotted. This one's definitely worth opening up. There's another pretty poor specimen here. Again, just not well preserved at all. It's completely crushed flat. Final fossil is now in shot. Can you spot where it is? Get a bit closer to make it easier. It's potentially two fossils, although there's only one definite one. You can see that one now, just there. Oh, that's brilliant. It's even a little small calcified specimen on the back that's been eroded away. If you look at this one here, I mean, that's literally, it's got a crack formed where it's going to open up almost instantly. I think we'll only need a couple of taps with the hammer and that'll open up straight away. It's also a rock down here. wonder if that contains anything. No, that one looks empty. Let's open this one. Moment of truth. Oh, brilliant. It's a perfect ammonite. They don't come any better than that whatsoever. It's got a perfectly intact negative or imprint of the ammonite as well. It's hard to believe that was literally just laid amongst that shingle that we looked through. And just see the detail on the shell is perfect. It's always incredible when they open so easily.
great. Coming up shortly, we're going to be having a look at that marine crocodile skull. It's an absolutely surreal fossil. One of the best crocodile skulls that we have ever seen from this area. I'm really looking forward to showing you it. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. It's time to have a look at the crocodile skull now. This was a find by one of our very good friends, Howard Turner. He has found and fully prepared this incredible Jurassic specimen. I hope you love it as much as we do. Let's have a look at it. This fossil here is a Jurassic marine crocodile skull and it's one of the best crocodile skulls from the Jurassic that we have ever seen. This wasn't a personal find of ours. It was a find of one of our very good friends called Howard, who has found and fully prepared the specimen. As you'll see, there's some, what looks to be bits of water or fluid on the actual matrix here. But these are natural oils, which are constantly coming out from the fossil must be some oil deeper within within the fossil itself and just every now and again some oil will trickle out quite unusual and here we have the actual skull itself this here is one of the orbits and I'll show you the other orbit in just a moment really nicely with this piece it's actually preserved in a really nice thick limestone nodule and also present is the lower jaw. Of course, the entire lower jaw would come much further over, so a lot of the jaws weren't present. But we, what we do have is absolutely amazing. It's also here one of the nostrils of the reptile. The back of the skull is really nicely intact. If I pick it up here, get a bit more of a sense of the size of this fossil it's a really lovely size there's the other orbit on the top of the skull you can see a lot of the ornamentation which is a really nice feature lots of little natural dimples present on the skull Around this side, again, you can see more of the lower jaw and also present are a couple of tiny little teeth. Really, really rare to have the lower jaw present with the skull. More often than not, the lower jaw is either not fossilized with the skull or it's broken off as the fossil erodes out. Overall, an absolutely superb piece. One that we are incredibly happy to have been involved with, with our really good friend Howie. So thank you Howie for letting us have a look at this piece. Absolutely incredible. We personally have only ever found one other crocodile skull with some of the lower jaw attached. So this skull is without a doubt one of the best ever examples we've seen of a Jurassic crocodile skull. Hopefully we'll be lucky enough to find one just as nice.
such an incredible fossil and a true one-off. Let us know down in the comments what you think about this crocodile skull. I've got a scenery clip just to round off the video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.